when this starts. Someday I should probably figure that out. So that I'm not doing this awkward intro. But today is not that day. But today is not that day. Oh, it looks like it has started, so that's cool. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream. We're going to be playing the post game of Pokemon Legends Arceus today. Um, I hope you guys are all having fun and having a good morning so far. Um, if the time zone makes it morning where you are, or day, if you're watching this in the future. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be playing the post game of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, my boyfriend is a little bit ahead of me, and he says that um, it's hard. He says it's a challenge, which I am looking forward to. Not I think that hard, I was just unprepared. <laughs> you were just unprepared? <laughs> but I think, I think it might be potentially kind of tough. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited to see what happens because I feel like the story um, wrapped up pretty well. Like, I don't like it, like, ended. But there's, there's more. There is more. So uh, we're going to see what happens. Um, let me know if you guys are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus in the comments um, and how you guys are doing, if you're liking it. Um, if you've played the post game and you're like, yeah, it's going to be really hard, you're about to get wrecked, let me know. <laughs> but don't give me any spoilers about the post game yet because like, I obviously haven't played it. I'm playing it right now. I have no spoilers about what happens. I have a feeling I'm going to be ba battling Volo because he's literally just like standing there staring at me. Um, but yeah, this is my team right now. I'm hoping that they'll be able to do what they need to do. They're like almost level 80. Oh, and their stats are like, their stats are good. Like I got their stats all the way, like pretty far up, you know, like some of them are completely done. So I think, I think we should be okay, hopefully, but we'll see. I also changed my golem's nature with a mint because his nature was like really messed up. So like, <laughs> I'm hoping that we'll be okay. Uh, Lily Kitty says they're too under leveled for post game. Yeah, I hope that my Pokemon are high enough leveled, but I don't know. From what my boyfriend has been saying, it sounds like it's going to be really challenging. So uh, let's do our usual save. Um, and it is 11 o'clock, so let's get started. All right, we're going to go talk to Volo and see what he says. Um, this, like, I don't remember this part of the rock wall being like this, so I feel like he must have excavated it or something. A good long close look please see these patterns modeled after pokemon yes i've been seeing these around the region and i've been really curious about what these means i kind of think they might be letters that was what i thought too i was trying to see if it was like the first letter of each of these pokemon's names but it doesn't seem like that's the case so i'm like what are they trying to say rather than hieroglyphs if you will yeah i think that they are letters i've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded they all seem to tell the same tale yeah based on um based on the um the repetitiveness of certain characters, I figured they were letters rather than just, you know. They probably are, and one of the things that confused you is Arceus was next to what? Arceus was next to... Some other A name, right? Yeah. But Arceus is probably Sinnoh. Oh, you're right. Arceus is probably Sinnoh. That's probably what confused you. Though. Oh. It probably is the first letter. So then that would be, what, S? I don't know what that symbol is. Oh, it's hard to say. That looks like, uh, what's its name? Um, Zoroark. But S, that doesn't make any sense. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. Yeah, so we know that there's the ten po the hero had ten Pokemon, and it's a combination of the ride Pokemon and the um, Lord Pokemon. Um, and so... Those were like the 10 Pokemon that the hero had. Um, and it sounds like the hero was doing, and we know that the rift has opened before. So it seems like the hero had those 10 Pokemon and was doing something similar to what we're doing potentially, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so Pokemon by side went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all encompassing deity. A deity? Like Arceus? Yes, an all encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and his name is Arceus. Yes! Okay, this actually makes a lot more sense because when we got to the end of the game, the only thing that I was like, that's weird, is that the game is called Pokemon Legends Arceus, and like, aren't we supposed to find Arceus at the end? Like, I expected Arceus to come down and be like, good job, my child, or something like that, you know? But there was none of that, and so now the post game is where we find out this, I guess. Perhaps you've already heard this name. It does sound familiar. <laughs> 
Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisaway region? But now let us discuss these fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yep, I figured. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about calling. So we're going to collect the rest of the plates. That's what the postgame is going to be, probably. Have you noticed that they all have words carved in their backs? Go on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. The original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. Yep. So what do you say, Kayla? I think we should try to gather all the plates. I mean, yeah. And I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. Okay. So are we going to go to those places that have... Um, Lily Katie says the main ending is not the ending at all. Right. That's what I'm feeling like with this post game. I feel like the post game is actually the game. Like, they call it the post game. But it's really just they just the they game. mess you with your brain by having the credits. Yeah, the credits were confusing. Okay, so we want to go to the Grueling Grove, which is over there. Okay, here we go, Grueling Grove. All right, let's go. I'm glad I'm streaming this too because I was curious if it was just gonna be like a tiny bit of story and mostly just like you know end game kind of stuff where you just kind of like do the same thing over and over and over again. But no, this is like full on the story, story yep. of the game. That's so what I'm I am excited. I wonder what we're gonna find out. Cause like I don't know. I hope Volo stays a good guy. Because he's been a good guy so far, even though he seemed a little shady at first. But every once in a while I get this vibe like, are you gonna be a bad guy suddenly? I think he's gonna be fine. What are we doing here? Okay. Now, Kayla, according to my own investigations... Oh! Best of the sorry, Kayla, but do you think you can handle it? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Hi, Best of Quinn. How are you doing? Alright. Go, Peaches! What level is it? Level 60? Okay. We're fine. We got this. Uh, let's do Agile Style Thunderbolt. Okay. Yeah, cool. Because I want to be able to catch it. My kitten is playing with the pillows on the couch. She's just like tackling them. It's so cute. Okay, wait. Let's let's try to catch it now. Uh, eh, we'll just use one of these and never catch us. Let's see what happens. We told you that Bolo is good. Yeah, everybody in the ch the comments was all like, Bolo's a good guy, don't worry. And I was like, eh, he knows too much. He knows too much. But I, I think he's using his knowledge, because knowledge is power, but he's using his knowledge for good. So I think he's going to be a good guy. Obtain the stone plate. Oh, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of rock. Yep. Okay. Why did that Alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate lying around? In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about, so that's that. No! And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. Uh, Mistress Kogita, right? The one and only Mistress Kogita, yes. You haven't had the chance to probably thank her for your help in obtaining the red chain. Am I right? All the more reason to play your visit. So onward to the ancient retreat. Yes. Yeah, we definitely should thank her. She was she was cool. I liked her. Okay, let's see. We need to go thank her. Oh, we can actually just... <gasps> oh, hi! Hi, Heracross! What's up? What's up, buddy? What's up? Okay. Let's, um... Looky, it's a girl. I like how Heracross uh, has a little heart-shaped thing on its head if it's a girl. That's really cute. Um, let's see. I don't want to kill it, though, so let's try. If this is Agile style, will it still die? Will it still die? No. Okay, we can even hit it again. Okay. All right, let's hit it again. All right. Mystical Fire, let's go! Okay, now it should be low. Yep, and let's see if we can catch it. Double edge. Oh no, it might be in itself. Oh no! Well, I guess we're not catching it. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, and 
Up and away! All right, let's see if we see any shiny Pokemon on the way. I'm always like paranoid, like looking at the ground, like, is there gonna be a shiny? Is there gonna be a shiny? And there isn't a shiny. I'm like, okay, cool. All right, let's keep going. But every once in a while, you know, it's like, oh, there's a shiny, and then you run down, and it's like, okay. Apparently they don't despawn, but they can run away. So like, you have to be careful not to scare them if they're a scaredy one. Okay, cool, let's keep going. <laughs> we can't get very far right now because we're not, we're going uphill. All right, but I still like flying better than uh, running around and stuff because then you don't have to worry about terrain or anything. You just kind of, you know. All right. Let's see. We're almost there. Is this? Huh. Wait. Wait. Did I go the wrong way? Or is she... Do I have to go there to... Oh, I have to go... I get it. Because she's kind of off. I get it. She's in like a separate place. I was going to say, I thought... I thought I had to go somewhere separate to get to her. Okay. Okay, this. And then good... Cool. Oh wait. Okay, cool. Good. Continue. Gotta go. Alright, we're gonna heal quickly. Just a little quick heal. I wonder if other people thought Volo was suspicious, because I felt like he was really suspicious, like, a lot of times. Let's see. Okay, good. And then let's put items away. So that we don't have to worry. Oops, I definitely want to have those. <laughs> All right, sort and sort, and we're good. All right, and now this way. I think we can just exit this way, right? Yes. All right, and then we have to go talk to um, this Mistress Kogita, who I'm pretty sure is an ancestor of Cynthia, too. Like, I'm pretty sure Volo and Kogita are like a thing. Um, because she looks a lot like Cynthia, um, and Bolo looks a lot like Cynthia, and they're, I don't think they're related, I'm pretty sure they're not related, and, like, he calls her Mistress Kogita, and she says, don't call me that, so it's kind of like, she maybe wants him to call her something else, like, like, my lady or whatever, I don't know, I'm a dork, <laughs> I feel like they're definitely a thing, though. And she's got this, like, teacup, which makes me think she's from Galar. Some people are thinking that she's, like, old, but I feel like she's not that old. Like, I feel like she just has, like, really white blonde hair. Because her face looks really young, you know? Like, look at her face. She looks like she's, like, my age in real life. Like, she doesn't look old. Unless I'm old. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, last one. It's miraculous what you've done. See, like, look at her outfit. It looks just like Cynthia's. It has that same v-neck with the little pendant thing. It seems the red chain served its purpose well, and you carried out your duty as you were bid. But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? Uh, it's about Arceus. Do you know that word? Ah, yes, a tale whose origins lie a millennium or two ago. Interesting, a millennium or two ago? I wonder if they know the actual time period of the universe. That would be crazy. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, okay, from whom I descended across many generations. These forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region, and I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleavor and Weirdeer. Oh, cool. Is that all? I thought that surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid of nothing new to tell you why the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the creator, Arceus, had anything concrete been passed down. If only we had more to go on, the answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Kayla here fell from the sky. I would like to know more about this. Aha, I see why what you intend. Very well, I'll help as best I can. Yay. There are still other tremendous Pokemon in his way, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain, but in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are the Pokemon of the lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant, the Crescent Moon's Volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? Oh, okay. So we're going to track down some different things. The three lake Pokemon. Ah, yes. 
Them you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. The plate of the lakes. Okay, now then, what were you here of? So we can get all of these quests now. The volcano. Well, where could that be but fires the island? Okay. The crescent moon? Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for the Coronet Highlands for now. Okay. What about the temple giant? Snow Point Temple, yeah. You must open the door that is sealed. We're gonna have to figure out how, though. The beginning? For you, certainly. Oh! The Plate of Prelude Beach. Okay. Don't answer your questions? Yeah, I asked all the questions. Very well, lost one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed for your own sake and for that of the Pokedex you labor on. Okay, I knew we could rely on you, Mr. Kogita. That's more than enough information to work with. Now let's find us let us find those plates. Okay, cool. Oh hey, we're gonna we're gonna go and find all the things. Okay, it's just as expected. Pokemon are the key to our search, Kayla. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the back of the plates, at last perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. Cool. Alright, so I have to go find them, and he's gonna do something else. Arceus created all his way. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. I have met Arceus. Arceus gave me my phone. <laughs> that would be crazy if you could know that. But, um, alright, let's go. Yes. Okay. Alright, which Pokemon should I track down first? It seems like I'm going to be able to look, look for them in any order. Unless there's a specific order. I don't know. Oh, hey, Kamado. What's up? I've had a message from Mr. Kogita. I'm told that you're collecting plates of some sort with the merchant Volo. Okay. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Oh, okay. So I guess that's the first one we're going to do. Um, all right. Well, we can kind of a little bit fast travel there. So let's do this. And then let's go see what he's going to say. Um, where am I going? Am I going our way? That way, okay. All right. Um, I feel like there's like Manaphy and Fiona stuff this way, but I don't know what else. Okay. This guy's just hanging out here. All right. And then Kamado's here. Oh, he's in his armor. He's in his armor. Let's do a quick save. Because he's wearing armor, and that's scary. I don't trust that at all. Okay, what's what's up, Kamado? Prelude Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. I knew he was going to do this. Okay. Oh, he has six Pokemon. Oh, no, five Pokemon. Okay. Golem. Okay, then I picked the right Pokemon to go first, then. Go, Pirouette! <laughs> armor equals scary. Exactly. I'm like, if he's in armor, he's preparing for a fight. Uh, let's just do regular Leafling. And see. I think this will take him out. Yep. Okay, cool. What's he gonna use next? I really need... Braviary. Okay, I gotta switch. There's no way... <gasps> oh no, Pirouette! Okay, we're gonna, swing. well, okay, because he's got a, bot, a lot of Pokemon left. So I think, is there anything I can do that's even, no, not worth it. Oh, unless I quickly sleep powder and then am able to switch out safely. This is worth it. Okay, let's see. Because then if he isn't able to attack, yes, perfect. Okay, now I have two moves in a row and let's switch Pokemon and Peaches. Uh, and swap, and then Peaches should get a hit before Braviary gets to go because I used Agile Style. 
All right, here we go. Fight, and we're gonna use Thunderbolt just regular. Okay. Yep, took it out, perfect. Um, who's next? Snorlax, okay, all right. High horse power, oh, okay. This is gonna be tough. Uh, we're gonna use strong style, or wait, if we use agile style, it lets us go a lot more. Yes, let's do that because peaches might go down, but I think that'll let us um, hit more overall, and I think it'll be worth it. And if I do another one, no, let's do this one. Uh, that's gonna undo what I just did. So let's just do a strong regular style. Okay. All right, cool. And it's paralyzed, that's good. Yeah, but Peaches is going down. But that's okay, that's okay. Because we'll be able to hit pretty hard now. Pirouette should be fine. And Pirouette will use Drain Punch, which is gonna get back Pirouette's HP. Um, and we're gonna use this Strong Style because Snorlax has a lot of HP. And we need our HP back. Okay, cool. Yep, and now we recover. Perfect. Okay, um, now he's got two left. What do you got? What do you got? The Fable. Oh, okay. Psychic. Ow. The Pura survived. All right, uh, not very effective. Effective. So let's try Sleep Powder Agile and see if we can survive it. Because if we can survive it, then we can do some fun things. All right, next. If we do Victory Dance Agile style, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough, it's not worth it. Uh, Leaf Blade Strong Style will, I would really like to have that double move later. And if I, ooh, if I do that, then, okay, this is the way to do it. Agile Style, Leaf Blade, and then we hope the sleep gets it again. Ooh, if I use Strong, oh, but it, okay. Okay, wait, is that, does that count as a turn? Oh, it fought off the drowsiness. But look, now we can do Victory Dance, Agile Style which will up my attack. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is so cool. Pirouette is so good. Like, so, so good in trainer trainer battles. Um, by Pirouette, I mean, <laughs> assuming we'll get, because that's what I named it. Okay, fight. And now if we use Strong Style Leaf Blade, it should definitely take out this Fable. And then we just have to take out the last one. Okay, cool, Fable's down. All right. And what's his last? Paracross. Okay. What are you gonna do? You're probably gonna faint me. Yep. Ow. It's okay. Pure wet, you did work. You deserved you deserved everything that you got there. You did so good. I'm proud of you, Pure Wet. <laughs> Alright, and now backfire, fight. Uh, and we should be able to take this out pretty easily. And this is last Pokemon, so let's use strong style and it should just take it out. In theory. As long as Heracrest isn't too tanky. Yeah, we got this. Okay, cool. So two of my Pokemon fainted, but overall, won the fight, so all good. What's the next one? What's the next thing that's gonna happen? Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. Okay. Yay! Level ups! Okay, what's he gonna say? You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Aww, that's kind of cool. Except <laughs> it reminds me of Ghostbusters when they're like that original where they're like, Are you a god? And the guy's like, No. And then the big monster's like, Then you shall die. <laughs> anyway. Here, you should have this. Is he gonna give me a plate? Did you find one? He found a plate, a fist plate. Oh, okay. Fighting type. Hi everybody in the chat. Hope you guys are doing okay and having a good day and stuff. And also enjoying Pokemon Legend of Arceus. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. Oh, cool. It clearly held some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adam and Irida, it, it appeared we were, were all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. 
hmm, it might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. Oh, guys, he just, he just, he just renamed it. He just renamed the region. This is where they renamed the region. This was one of my big questions at the end of the game too. It was like, it's still called Hitsway. Say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would not. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Aww. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokemon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Dun dun dun. Okay. So. Based on Kovita's hints, it seems there might be four more plates left for you to find. Okay, cool, we did it. We beat Kamado. Um, let's do the, oh wait, first, very first thing, save, 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 save. <laughs> okay, next order of business, let's go over here. Okay, and then, then we need to figure out where we're going next, okay. So, Missions and requests. Um, we've got Plate of the Lakes, Catch, Mesper, Azelf, and Uxie. Cool. Plate of Fire, Spit Islands. Um, there's stuff there. Coronet Highlands. There's like a moon view thing. And Snow Point Temple. Ooh, I kind of... Okay, let's do these in the order that they are here so that we don't go too crazy. But we got to ca catch all of the Lake Guardians. So let's let's go do that. Okay, um, Lake Guardians. Well, there's a lake over here, so let's go to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Start at the beginning, right? Um, I think are my Pokemon all healed up? If my Pokemon are all healed up, we can just go. They are definitely all healed up. We can just go. Who's gonna be good for catching these? Probably Peaches, right? I think because it can like paralyze things. Um, we're gonna go to Lake Verity, mark this as the place to be, and then let's go there. Um, let's see, climb up here so we can get a nice, nice little jump off this, um, and then that's the way to go. All right, let's go! Let's catch the Lake Guardians! Oh, this is exciting. All right, flying. I've been flying lots of places in case there's like shinies below me so that I might be able to potentially see them. Let's get this thing because it's... <laughs> okay, good. I was like, did I throw that way too high? Uh, hi, Luxray. What are you doing? Hi, hello. Hi, hi. Okay, and flying. Woohoo. Okay, and now diving and flying and diving and flying and diving. Okay, now let's see if you're here, because, yeah, I, I assume that, I assume that they're here, but I remember, what was it, wasn't it this one that was, like, all over the place before? Let's find out. Are you here? Oh, hi, you are here. What's up? Hey. Um, okay. Can I just... Nope, I gotta fight you. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we can't just catch it. We have to fight it for sure. Um, let's use Agile Style Thunderbolt. Let's see what happens. See if it hurts it too much or too little or what. Okay, that's a good amount. It's a good amount. Oh, it has recovered. Okay, we're just gonna use the regular Thunderbolt then. And let's see, Mystic Power, okay. And then, okay, we're gonna use Agile Style Thunderbolt, and then we will throw a Pokeball and see what happens. We, it'll just catch it. All right, items, Ultra Ball, use. Will this work? I don't know. I have a feeling they're gonna be tough to catch. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, we caught Mesprit. Okay, cool. Oh, cutscene? There are two more like Pokemon left to be caught. Oh, okay, that's it. 
All right. Let's go catch the other ones, guys. This isn't too bad. We got this. We got this. We're gonna leave here. And then we'll just teleport back and go to the next lake. Okay, quick heal up just to make sure we are at peak fighting capacity. Just a little bit. All right. Good. And then I guess I'll talk to you about the fact that I caught Mesprit. Like, are you gonna be amazed by this? I feel like Professor Lavender should be like, what? You caught this Pokemon? Like, that's crazy. I'll update the Pokedex. Okay. Are you gonna be like amazed by this? Because also, okay, you only have to catch one. I was like, phew. Okay, and then it's just all seeing it moves. Habitat unknown. Cool. Uh, return to the village so that I can go to the next place. All right, so it seems like there's just like a bunch of like legendary quests that are gonna end up giving me plates, which is interesting. All right, uh, we should be good. Let's go to the next one. Oh, mass outbreak. Oh, it's just Cascoon. All right, well, let's go here next. Um. And then it'll be up to Acuity. Also, I feel like since we're doing Acuity last, we might as well do the other thing that's there while we're there. Um, all right, map, we need to go here. Oh, there's a new request here. All right, well, we'll go see what that is while we go there. Um, and let's fly. Whee! Flying, 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 flying. We're gonna have to also climb because we're not gonna make it up. Hey, this Neesler. Woot. Okay, climbing, climbing, climbing. I am so excited to see what is gonna happen with this. Um, I'm glad that they don't just like give us the legendary Pokemon and they give us kind of these quests to go find them. Um, I'm hopeful that some of them are harder because I feel like like, this one is pretty easy so far. Like, the lake ones. But I don't know. We'll see. Oh, hey, there's a village. Whee! Alright, we're flying. Okay. Alright. Diving. Alright, what's gonna be this quest? Oh! Alright! I think Adaman might want to fight me. I think he might want to throw down. Um, my character is really fly. Hey, wait, no, that's not really me. Hey, there we go. Okay, uh, Adamant wants to fight, probably. Uh, I think, should I go with Tiny first? I'm gonna try going with Tiny first and we'll see what happens. Because Tiny has a lot of type coverage. Do your ears perk up? Happy to fill you in if you're curious. Yeah, I'm curious. What's up? There's that survey core spirits. Curious what moves science forward according to good old Mr. Professor. But come to think of it, what I found seems too valuable to just let you in on it for free. You need to work a little. I'm going to have to fight him. Here's the deal. I want you to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. Uh, yeah, sure. We're going to fight. It's going to be an evolution versus another evolution. All right. We're fighting. Yep. Go tiny! <laughs> All right. Oh, multiple evolutions. Okay, this is fine though. Mystical fire, let's do that strong style. Ooh, that's gonna mean they get a lot of hits in. But if I don't do a strong style, I'm worried I won't beat them. So let's just do regular style. Yeah, okay. I wonder if I could have done agile. But regardless, I need to make sure I don't die. Okay, quick attack, that's fine. I will survive this. Vaporeon is going to use Quick Attack as well. Okay. Oh, they're only level 32. This isn't too bad. Okay. Evolutions fight. All right. Vaporeon uses Aqua Tail. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm fighting Umbreon. Ooh, Dazzling Gleam is super effective. Oh, yeah. I guess fairies. Okay. That's cool. I, like, totally forgot about that type matchup. That's good. And then Magical Leaf. And then I should win. Yay! Tiny had like, oh, Vaporeon lives. 
Oh! Oops. Alright, well I guess you should have used strong style there. But regardless, because Vaporeon is tanky. Alright, there we go. Yay, Tiny did it. Good job, Tiny. Okay. You're really something. I'm a man of my word. So here's that Shredder. Cool. What'd I get? An Adamant Crystal. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Mean to Muddy Dialga. So now I've put you through the ringer a little. It seems right to give you since you're the one who caught it. Alright. You taught me another way to get along with Pokemon, another way to relate to the world. Yay! Okay, cool. Alright, I got a bunch of cool things from that. That was awesome. Alright, um, yeah, so we're gonna be going across the water now. Let's get on Bass Legion. Is that? No, it's a barbage. Okay. I was like, are you... The white stripe ones I feel like I never see, so I wanted to see if it was one of those, but it is not. Okay. Oh, a Sneasler could climb up that. That's really cool. Alright, but let's save. And let's... Oh. And let's catch this Pokemon. Alright. This one should be Azelf. Alright, walking in, walking in. And there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, little blue friend. What's up? Hi. Okay, you're going to have to fight me. I know how this goes. All right, cool. Fight. We're going to use Agile Style. So that we can start getting moves. Hopefully, I wonder. I haven't really looked at the stats for these guys. Oh, okay. All right, already paralyzed. Whoa, wait, look at the outline of my character. That looks really funky. Do you see that? What is that? What is that? That's really weird. Okay, I saved right before this, so hopefully I don't faint it. That would be bad. Okay, cool, cool. Wait, no, not that. Items. Okay, Ultra Ball. Use. Okay, will it catch? I think it will, probably, right? Let's see. But look at the outlines on things. That's really weird. I haven't seen that anywhere else. Like, look at that. Isn't that really weird? Look at it. With the water, there's like polka dots. Look at that. Why is that happening? It doesn't happen when we go like this. When we go like this. It's really weird. All right, anyways. Continuing onward. All right, we got one more Lake Guardian to catch. And then, yeah. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. And head to the next place. All right, quick rest up. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, and then, all right, should be good. And don't need this, need this. All right, yup, I caught Azel. Okay, cool. Get a little bit of money. And I have this new Pokemon. Cool. And now we need to return to the village so we can go to the snow point place. Okay. Here we go. Um, let's see. Pokemon are good to go. Um, and we're gonna head out to the third lake. Alright. We're going here. And then, let's see. We need to head to the third lake. Oh, and there's another quest. I wonder how much you want to bet this is Irida. How much you want to bet this is gonna be fight Irida. Let's fly over here. Nimmy, Powder, be good kitties. Powder, don't bite your brother's tail. That is not nice. Oh, look, there she is. I knew it. All right, so she has Glaceon, and she's probably going to have other evolutions. So Tiny's probably still the best thing to use, because Tiny seems to wreck the other evolutions. So let's let's use Tiny. Hey, Yurda. Save. Good morning, Star Pikachu! Welcome! 
All right, I'm going to fight Irida probably, and she's probably going to give me the, um, the pearl thing. Yeah, I'm curious. Give me the thing that you found. Because I just got the other one from Adaman, so. All right. Basically, we're tracking down the plates. This is the post game. We're tracking down the plates to, like, see if we can, um, I think summon Arceus? And so, like, we're trying to get all of them, and to do that, we need to apparently get the other legendary Pokemon. So, right now, we're um, working on the Lake Guardians, and I only have one Lake Guardian left. Um, so, yeah, but I'm, I guess I'm going to fight Yurda first, because she's here, and I can get something from her. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, Oh, cool. That would probably sound so crazy in that area. Although snow like muffles sound in a weird way. So I wonder, like, I don't know, that would be really cool. Alright, we're gonna fight now. Alright, so Adamant had three different evolutions, so I wonder if she's gonna also have three and which one she's gonna have. Okay. Oh, cool. So basically, I'm fighting all the other evolutions uh, with the evolution that none of them use. That's actually really fun. I'm happy that I ended up doing it this way. Okay. Glaceon goes down. Um, Espeon's gonna use Quick Attack. Flareon, probably Quick Attack as well? Oh, it's just looking around. Okay. Espeon needs Quick Attack again. Espeon needs Psychic. Ooh, Psychic is a little... Oh, okay. Well, it's, I mean, it's only level 32, so... And then this should be good. If I do fast style, then I can go more. Okay, Shadow Ball. And then I just gotta take out Flareon. And then we're gonna catch the last of the Lake Guardians, which would be cool. And I think after that, there's some there's a quest for Snow Point Temple where we're gonna try to unlock that door, which I'm super excited about. So that's probably gonna be next. Let's see, is Flareon tanky? I feel like Flareon's not that tanky. Oh, it was tanky enough. Okay. All right, all right. Shadow Ball, and that'll take it out. And then we can go to the last of the lakes. Okay, cool. Now she's gonna give me a, a prize, some sort of thing. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the thing that'll transform uh, Palkia. I wonder, Kayla, are there people even stronger than you out in the world with Pokemon stronger than yours? I'll have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here, the treasure, I promise you. Yep. Lustrous Globe. Yep. Oh, cool. Look at the art for it. That's really pretty. It's a Pokemon to change form. I'm told that Swans belong to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected, it's somehow connected to Almighty Sin I mean, Palkia. <laughs> and since Mighty Palkia is with you now, I'll entrust the Lustrous Globe Glorb, globe. <laughs> All right, cool. Aw, yay. We did it. All right. And now for our, our main event, let's go catch the last of the Lake Guardians because apparently we get a plate by doing that. So, all right. And they're over there. So let's quickly fly as far as we can. And then we're going to have to climb for sure because, yeah. All right, Sneasler, we need ya. Wait, Sneasler, Sneasler can't climb on this? Sneasler can totally climb on this. I'm like, um, <laughs> we need to get up the side of the mountain. Oh, look at this Kadabra just like chilling up here. Hey, Kadabra, what's up? What's up, Kadabra? Are you gonna fight me? You're probably gonna fight me, aren't you? You're gonna fight me? You're not gonna fight me? Can I? Nope, you're gonna fight me. You're totally gonna fight me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fight and shut up all. Yay, good job, Tiny. All right, and let's get this. Oh, there's like, there's just like some stuff up here. All right, but we got stuff to do. We got to go need a lake. Lake should be up here. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Weird, or not weirder. There we go. Okay, somebody sees me. Who sees me? Okay, we're here. We're gonna switch to 
um, Peaches because Peaches has been so good at catching these with Thunder Wave and Thunderbolt. Like it's just you, been. Paralysis is great. Paralysis is real good as long as they're not ground types. Then paralysis is not so good. It's not so good or electric types. Not so good. But these ones, real good. All right. Hello. All right. Then I'll have all of the Link Guardians, which will be fun. Okay. Let's fight. All right. We're going to use Thunderbolt. And we're going to use Agile Style. It's interesting. These guys are all very similar. So, like... Catching them has been, a, like, I've been doing it the same way every time, almost. So, it hasn't been too crazy. It's just been more of the, like, doing the same thing. Paralyzed. Okay, now let's use Ultra Ball and see if it catches. Alright, will it catch? Yeah, and they've all caught, like, immediately, too. I don't know if they like made them easy to catch, but it's a little strange. All right, now we're gonna have a cutscene like you caught all three. Yep, Draco plate. Oh, cool. All right, that gave us the dragon plate. Did not expect dragon from that though. There's three more plates left for me to find. Okay, let's find all of them because I think after that we might have something happen with Arceus potentially. So that's cool. All right, uh, let's see. Missions and requests. Uh, fire spit, but we have a snow point temple one and we're right here, so let's go do that. Plus, this is the one I'm like the most excited about, so I'm excited to do this next. Okay, yeah, look, there's the temple right there, so we might as well, right? All right, I have a feeling this is gonna be like Regigigas based on the things that we saw in this temple. So, ooh, what was that? Oh, it's just in the shadow. For a second I was like, is that a shiny? It was not a shiny. All right, we're heading up here. We're going into the temple. All right, we need, Dakfire will be really good in here. And let's go. All right, we gotta figure out a way to get in though. And I don't know. How this is gonna go? Let's let's save again. <laughs> I save all the time because I'm just like I turned off auto save because it's burned me too many times. Um, okay. Oh, hi. You want to fight? You want to go? You realize I have Pokemon that is like so super effective against you. Like you're about to just get destroyed. Like really, really destroyed. Yup. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so that was the door over there. These are the hieroglyphs that are supposed to be letters, but I wonder, I, I have not been able to figure them out. Apparently each of the different things is a letter. That That's what I suspected based on the way they repeated. Um, but it's a little strange. So, all right, defeated that, and then, oh! Wait, this used to be closed. No, no. Right? No. No, oh, the door's around the corner. Yeah. Okay, I was like, hmm. Okay. Okay. Phew. All right, Zubat's down. And then, okay, here's the door. And let's do one last save. And Regigigas is a rock type. Uh, uh, I don't know what I should use against this. Mm, maybe Golly. Golly knows some interesting moves. It might be okay. Let's see. Okay. We have to figure out how to open this door, right? Or is it just going to open for me? No? I don't know. Oh, Adamant's here. Adamant's here? What? Oh, I wouldn't expect you to run into you up here, Kayla. What are you up to? What are you doing here? You're here to try to find the secrets looking at some point. Oh, she's clairvoyant. Yep, I was gonna say, that's why they're here. You did tend to get mixed up in all kinds of strange going-ons, Kayla. This door here, well, they say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. Yep, no matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. 
How do we that open it? You don't have the cool stuff. The cool stuff? What's the cool stuff? The stone and stone plate and icicle plate you carry seem to be reacting to the door. But oh I need the rock. Or wait, the the ground plate. It's gotta be ground stone ice. You need all three. So I can't do this one yet. Huh. Alright, so I guess I gotta go do the other ones first. Um, Regigigas is a normal type. Oh, Regigigas is normal. Why did, oh, why did I think you, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense, because there's already a rock type Reggie. Yep. Um, Yakima says, morning Pikachu, um, and Star Pikachu says he might need the three other Reggies. Yeah, I think, I think he's gonna, because I don't know if we can catch the other Reggies in this game or not. Um, but I think he will definitely need, um, at least the plates, based on what we, they just said. Um, I'm gonna have to go here. Let's heal up, and then let's go do the other missions, since I can't do this one yet. Um, just a little bit. Alright. Quick crafting adventure. Can we craft anything? We can craft some potions! Craft put items away oops not that I, I i would like to keep those yep okay cool there we go oh i have a lot of items in my satchel that i should store cool oh and this one okay cool and report i did catch a pokemon it's ugsy yay okay all right cool 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 Let's have a look. Cool, yep, yep. All right, now I wanna to return to the village and then I have to go to the next place. This is cool, I like this. I um, I like that we're getting all these different legendaries, but we're going on quests for them rather than just like getting them. Although so far the quests to get them have been pretty easy, so I'm hoping that they'll be more challenging. <laughs> um, let's see, Fire Spit Island and then Cornet Highlands. Yeah, let's go to Firespit Island next. Uh, that, that should be fun. Let's do it. Oh, mass outbreak of Bidoof. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Wait, why does it show like two things here? That's weird. What is this? What, what are this? Why are there, why are there two? I am, oh, okay, cutscene. What's going on? The festival attended by everyone in the clan's galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Being able to spend time with Iskan in front of everyone was like a treat. Oh, oh, they can like be together now. Oh, that's so cute. And Polina here has something she wants to discuss with you. That's right. You should also hear this, Irida. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. Ooh, Firespit Island. Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. Probably because it's so warm there. <laughs> and Irida's like, uh, I don't like it. Yep, <laughs> it's just very hot there. <laughs> That's so funny. Maya, you speak in such disparaging terms of the seat that my lord Arcanine calls home. And to think you call yourself our leader, Irida. No, 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 Lena, I didn't... <laughs> oh, stop with that silly old nickname in front of others, won't you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an old habit. Well, anyway, you, you heard her. Please get to Firespit Island so we can resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out there. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, but why were there, there were like two? Oh, maybe it was like one was just like meeting them here. And then we need to go to here. So let's, let's fly. Okay. Um... Looks like I said all this rule. So no shows frenzied. We like to do. Oh, I don't wanna. No, I definitely well, don't, you don't wanna. wanna play Arcanine again? No, I really, really don't wanna rematch Arcanine. Oh, they're right over here. Okay, same. Um, could this be Volcarona? Maybe. I don't know. Mm. What? Why did you make that weird noise? Wrong answer. Oh, okay. Hello, Kayla. Thank you for coming so far out of your way. Or, er, Warden Iskan, wasn't Lena joining us? Ooh, yes, about that. Um, it seems she asked, she wanted some time with her lord, so she asked us to check the Lava Dome Sanctum without her. 
What the nerve of She knows I can't stand sweltering places like this. I'm sure she meant no ill, Ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Aww. Aww, because he likes her. Aww, this is so cute. This is so cute. Okay. Alright, well, what's in here? What are we gonna find? Whoa, look at this red cave. It's heat ran. Oh, I should not be using Raichu. Uh, You'll be able to change this time. Careful, Kayla. Okay, change. Pokemon. Um, who can I even use against you? Uh, um, there's nobody that's gonna be great. Ah! Okay. You went into the volcano and you didn't bring a water type. I don't have a water type that's good! Wait, what's going on? Oh, you almost got like a barrier. Uh, how do I- Oh, there's balls of mud. I have to throw mud at him? Yep. Oh no. Oh no, I'm awful at that. Oh, and he's fast. Oh no, I might die. Wait, I need to change to items. Balls of mud. Balls of mud. No! Oh no, oh no. I did not realize how bad this would be. No. Nah. I'm dead. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Ricky Rick. Uh, yeah, I dropped a bunch- I dropped a bunch of Max Revives! No, I like those! Man, okay. I need mud. I have mud in here. Let me grab mud. I have 86 mud. Move all at once. Okay, cool. Now I have a lot of mud. And I can come in there prepared with my mud. Be slinging this mud. Just slinging it everywhere. We got this. We got this. Alright. Ha. Huh. I like how these have the pearl and diamond clan uh, hanging from them. That's a little nice detail. Okay. So, it's gonna be Heat Ran. So, when I switch to Pokemon, um, oops. Not, no. Don't no, get back on the ball. What are you doing? Okay. We'll try Golly, I guess, and hope we don't die. Uh. <laughs> And let's use our balls of mud and let's save. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Hi. Ow. Why? I wonder how many times I need to hit him. I need to run. Oh! There we go. I got the fire to go away. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do super effective damage. So I don't want to. Um, that could lead to target with a burn, which could be dangerous. Uh, let's use Agile Style Rock Slide and see what happens. Okay, cool. That's fine. Oh, I caught him unawares? I didn't even realize I did that. Okay, that'll make this easier. Rock slide one more time. And then, let's try catching it. Let's see what the catch rates are like, because I feel like the catch rates have been really easy so far for legendaries, surprisingly. So I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. I feel like the catch rates have been so easy for them. It hasn't been as challenging as I would expect. Okay. Iron plate. Oh, that's steel type. Okay. Wait, is that the last one that I needed? That is the last one I needed for the the snow point temple, but I'll do the other one. With both Arcanine and Heat Rant spewing flames about on Volcanic Island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Yeah, she's probably dying of heat. Warden is gone. I have to ask, do you think there was any need at all for me to be here? <laughs> Um, well, um, yes, of course there was. After all, you were, are the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this trouble cropped up right around the seat of one of your clan's nobles, so, um, yes, it was surely best for you to come see to it. Admiral of you to look after your clan's affairs. Aw, do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be re revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to train her growlet harder. <laughs> That's surely not the case. Even if Warden Polina may have mentioned something about the need for, um, tough love. <laughs> I thought so. To think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe, but when it comes to me... <laughs> well, Kaylee did great. Well, aww. 
I'm just let's head back ahead of you then. Uh, <laughs> so awkward. I'm like, hey, yeah, you guys, you guys got got your things you're working on. All right, two more plates. Wow, that mud thing was tough. Did not expect that. Glad I collected a bunch of mud like from before, you know, that I could just pick up instead of having to like pick up a ton of things immediately there. Um, okay. Oh, I feel like. Yeah. Bless you. Oh, there we go. I just have these things. Okay. Uh, let's go back to here. And then we're going to go to the next place and get the next legendary and do our thing. Just a little bit. Make sure everybody's healed. Let's put the mud back in the case because we don't need mud. We really don't. Okay. And we should be good to go. I should be good in terms of crafting. All right, and I'm gonna show you that I caught heat ran, and you're gonna be all like, cool, good job. I'm gonna be like, thanks, that's great. All right, and now, yep. Yeah, see, I caught heat ran. And what I like to do now, turn to the village so I can go to the next place. Yeah, so far the post game has been pretty cool. I liked the very beginning of the post game, and I liked the battle with Kamado the best. And I liked, there was a couple things I liked. Um, we have to go, he, he, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I should probably figure that out before I travel. Okay, Cornet Highlands, plate of Moonview moon Arena. Ooh, that's interesting because that makes me think that there's gonna be a certain Pokemon. Known as? Uh, Bullet. Wait. Oh, what's its name? Not Cresselia, Darkrai. I bet it's gonna be Darkrai. It could be Cresselia, though. Can I only do this at night? I feel like this is gonna be the type of thing where it's like, you need to come back at nighttime in order for this to work. Um, oh, it's, it's right here. I'm, I'm right here, so. Um, okay, there's, there they are. <laughs> My brain was just like, wait, what? Oh man, I'm gonna have to talk to them again. Is that what's gonna happen? Oh. Okay. All right, what are they gonna say? Have you learned anything or are you still really annoying? I don't suppose grunt like you, nope, still really annoying. Oh, it's Cresselia. Yeah, what about Cresselia? I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. Cresselia is said to be the very embodiment of the present moon. Yeah, right? Melly is awful. Her feathers are called lunar feathers, and legend says that if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. Cool. So wait, we're going to catch Cresselia here. Well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. Oh my gosh. Wow, you're so cool. Melly, you're the worst. Melly is the worst. I hate this. <laughs> okay, I am gonna go catch Cresselia, like, for sure. But, like, Melly, why? Oh, okay, we're going straight to it. Okay. Oh, look at it. Look at how pretty. It's all, like, stormy, though. Am I gonna have to do, like, a whole, like, boss battle kind of thing, or do I just get to fight it? Whoa! Whoa! Everything is reversed! What? Oh my gosh! Wait! Everything's reversed. If I hold my controller upside down, will that help? Uh, it's not a permanent effect. So, just get used to it. Holding my controller upside down has been helping. Oh, it's got that stuff around it too, so am I gonna have to hit it with something? I don't know. This is so difficult. Oh no. Can I just fight you? Can I please just fight you? Hi. Hi. Can I fight you now? Oh, you're mad. You're mad at me. Can I fight you? Oh, thank goodness. That was... <laughs> that was actually really weird and tough. Like, really, really weird. <laughs> okay. Um... I guess I'm just gonna use Dazzling Gleam and see how much this does. I hope it doesn't kill it or anything. Okay, cool. Oh, it's gonna use Agile Style Psycho Cut. Okay. I will survive. Uh, it's gonna be Psycho Cut again. Ooh. Okay. Ow. Dazzling Gleam. 
So I should get it down to yellow. And then I'm gonna try and catch it? Unless it heals? Okay. Okay. Let's use Strong Style Dazzling Gleam and see if that does enough to bring it down to yellow or red. And... Not enough. Okay, what are you gonna do? Psycho Cut, that's gonna take me out, I think. So that's fine, because now I can switch to Raichu. And Raichu will be able to do what I need it to do. <coughs> Alright. Go, Peaches! Alright, I hope... I don't think this will take it out. Because... Okay, good. And then Thunder Wave, Agile Style. Okay, cool. I think we're gonna get to go three times in a row. So we can do this, this, and then catch it. Because it used the strong style move. So it's slow. And I'm fast. Okay, here we go. Will it catch? Will it catch? I think it will. What's the fastest Pokemon in the game? I don't know. I don't know what's the pa <coughs> fastest in this game specifically. Whoa. Okay, cutscene. Dread plate. Ooh. Dark type. Cool. Alright, lunar feather. I got a plate. I do feel power emanating from it though. In any case, if Cresselia did not give us gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she thought we had no need for them. Yeah, we got other stuff we gotta do, so. Yeah, Melly keeps calling me grunt. <clears throat> no, I suppose anyone with enough luck to best the great Melly should oh be able to handle this. Oh my goodness, get much. over yourself. I know, right? I hope Melly like figures themselves out and like there's one more left. Time, you guys know where we need to go, right? You know where we need to go? I know where we need to go. We need to go to Snow Point. Okay. Heal. Just a little bit. Alright. Cool. One more plate left, you guys. This is crazy. I can't wait to find out what happens when I get all the plates. Because, like, I'm so close, you know? I'm gonna go to the village and I'm gonna go to Snow Point and we're gonna go to Snow Point Temple. And yeah. Okay. He's got. Oh, Volprix out. Okay, we gotta pause real quick and do this Volprix outbreak because, oh, shiny Volpix would be so cool. Like, so cool. Alright, let's see. Wait, shiny Volpix? What? Potentially. There's an outbreak. Oh. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna just go see if that's a thing because if that's a thing then that's a thing and yay. Um, is it up high though? Wait, let me check them out. Yeah, it's probably up high, so that means we need to fly this way and then climb up. This is where I tend to find shinies too. I don't know why, but like on this in this area, I tend to find more shinies than like other areas. I came out here looking for ponytails, only to then realize it's raining. Oh. So they're not, they're not around. Yeah, that makes sense. Ugh, Mothims. I don't like Mothim. Mothim is like one of my least favorites, especially after this game. I just feel like... There have been too many times where they go after me and I'm like, I really don't want to even bother with them, you know? Okay, we're gonna use my usual strategy. Um, first of all, if I can get to that grass patch, that would be ideal. I only see one Vulpix though, that's weird. Is this not the outbreak? This is not the outbreak, this is just a Vulpix. This is just a Vulpix. It's just hanging out here. That's cool. Alright. Now let's head toward the outbreak. Because it should be here. 
right? Still a little bit further. See, I thought that was the outbreak because it is a Vulpix outbreak, but it's, it's not this. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to fight something. Something sees me. Oh, it's Mothim. Are you serious? Mothim, go away. I don't wanna deal with you right now. Go away. I said, go away. It's not going away, so I must destroy it. <laughs> Moth to the flame, literally. <laughs> okay. All right, is that beautiful? I don't want to fight too. Are you gonna want to fight me? I don't want to fight you. You want to fight me? You want to fight me? You want to go? You want to go? Okay, we're going. Fight and flamethrower. Okay, taken out. And let's catch a ton of Vulpix. Because look over here, there's just so many of them. We'll get in the grass. We'll kind of sneak up. That's an alpha Vulpix. Oh. All right, first let's catch that one. If we can. And then. Okay, cool. Where are you going? Oh, I used an Ultra Ball on it. Let's switch to Wing Balls just so that, or Feather Balls so they're easier to hit from far away. Uh, uh. Oh, wrong, wrong ball. That was funny. Oh, it didn't hit it. That's weird. I wish I had regular Pokeballs right now. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Missed. Okay, I just need to get it in the like top half of the reticle. Oh, that one's running around like crazy. Where did they run so silly? So it's so tough with these type of balls. Okay, that was just too far. What this one is acting like it kind of sees me. That was confusing. Oh, they're both running in the opposite directions of it. No shinies yet. I still haven't found a shiny from an outbreak, and that's kind of funny because I feel like the shiny odds are supposed to be higher when they're in an outbreak. You know? Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're high. Yeah, but they're higher. Considering the number of outbreaks I've been to, it seems kind of funny. That Vulpix is far away. It's just running. All right, is that the last one maybe? That might be the last one. Cause I don't see any more. That one's far away. There we go. All right, and caught. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's the last one, right? Unless there's a new more for the outbreak? I feel like that was it, right? I don't see any other roll pixels. Maybe one like ran really far away and I just don't see it anymore. But regardless, um, okay, we need to go, okay, right, we need to leave this place. We need to go to actually doing what we were doing. Okay, cool. Uh, my Pokemon should be fine, but let's do a quick heal because I think we're gonna be fighting Regigigas next. I think we're going to be fighting and catching Reg Regigigas. So, let's do this. I caught a bunch of Vulpix. Yay! Okay, next. Cool. Alright. Yay. Alright. Good. Slowly but surely getting to rank 9. Uh, return to the village, and then we go to the snowy place. Uh, oh, wait, you're not rank 9? I thought you were. Remove, comment, and block.
Oof. Yup. <laughs> Awkward people in the chat sometimes. Fair move. Yeah, that's creepy. Um, <laughs> alright, we're going back to the village. This is not the way. Right? That's not, that's not how you talk to other humans, people. That's not how you do it. <laughs> not okay. Alright, heading to Alabaster Iceland. Woohoo! All right. Oh, I should put things in away because I have too much stuff. Goodbye, 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 and goodbye, goodbye. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, I don't need these either. <laughs> and also you. Okay. Now, now we can actually go to Snow Point Temple. And so let's go to the Pearl Settlement and then just climb right up there. And yeah, we'll be we'll be right there. Cool. Um, I think Raichu will probably be the best thing for me in this situation. Um, so let's have Raichu ready. And let's climb up. You don't have a punchy puncher? Huh? Well, I don't want to, like, I want to be able to paralyze and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Look at right. the bravery. You're not trying to kill him. No, I'm not trying to kill him. I'm trying to catch it. Yep. Of course. Of course. Gotta catch it. Gotta catch them all. Every single Pokemon. Oh. Imagine if you killed it and it autosaved. Yeah, that's why autosave is off. Would you just like quit the game? <laughs> like, I don't start know. I don't like, even what you, know. What would you have to do with that? That's point? why I always have autosave turned off. It's just burned me too many times where I'm like, where I'm like, okay, like, I got this. And then autosave happens. And then I'm like, I don't got this anymore. And it's the worst. Okay, wait. To get through here, though, in case we have to fight anything, let's turn on this. Okay, here we go. And... Are these guys gonna fight me again, or am I good? Because I think it's time to fight Regigigas. Hey, Bronzong. Yeah, I know, you're gonna try and fight me. <laughs> Gotta catch him some, right? <laughs> fight. Flamethrower! All right, Thank you. Oh, hi, okay. This I will use people for. And fight. And I think Thunderbolt will just take it out regular. Dang, pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> okay, and it's Regigigas time. Regigigas will be right around this corner. I will talk to the door. I was here earlier. Talk to the door. I will talk to the door. Um, I was here earlier and I, I couldn't get in because I was missing one of the plates that I need for this. But now I have all three plates. So I should be able to get in and encounter Regigigas. Okay. I'm assuming this is Regigigas. Because that's the only thing that really makes sense. Whoa. Everybody's like, whoa. And I'm like, whoa. We're all just like, whoa. All right, wait. What do you like? Save again. Okay, we've saved like a million times. And... I remember there was one game where you, um, it would tell you how many times you saved, and that was always really funny. Okay, so that's a dead end. We gotta go this way. Unless, is there a wisp down here that I'm just not seeing? No wisp. Okay. <laughs> just had to make sure, because I wouldn't want to come back and just, like... No wisps in there, I can tell you for sure. Oh, there's actually Pokemon in here, so let's... We're gonna have to go through this. Okay. Yeah, now, do Pokemon not have to eat? Um, I think they eat. So what the what the hell have these Pokemon been eating down here? I don't know. They've been stuck here for how long? They've just been eating whatever they can find. Which I is, mean, should be nothing. I'm pretty sure Graveler eats like rocks, so that's. But the walls look fine. Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't know. Somebody just put these Pokemon in here for the sake of putting them in here. Maybe they don't like. Them. Oh, I guess they were trapped in here, huh? They were trapped. What in if there. we just came in here and there were just like the skulls of like dead Pokemon? That'd be so. That would have been so much more realistic. That'd be so awful, though. I want to live in that Pokemon world. Why? That'd be horrible. Okay, Glalie goes down. All right, what else do we find in here? Oh, more Bronzong. A lot of Bronzong. Well, fortunately, Backfire, like, completely destroys them. 
Ooh, look at the size differences. Oh, that looks so cool. There's like one that's like slightly bigger than the others. Let's see, let's use some shadow ball, or infernal parade, yeah, let's make this fun. Whee! Purple, oh, it didn't take it out? Okay, maybe not infernal parade. <laughs> Okay. Flash cannon. They're eating other Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Has it just been like cannibalism central in here? While they've all been locked away? No. <laughs> I feel like Bronzong, like, what would they, would they eat metal? They must eat like metal, right? Although in this game, it tells you what they eat. So I guess we could like look at it, right? I'm just gonna kill them all in different ways. <laughs> Some, one I killed with Infernal Parade, one I killed with Shadow Ball, one I killed with Flamethrower. Because they're literally weak to like everything that I have. Oh! Number you've defeated with ghost type moves. Okay, so I guess I should be killing them more with ghost type moves instead of fire. <gasps> Hello Regigigas! What's up? How you how you doing today? Are you you doing you doing good? You you doing you doing fine? Okay, guys, uh, definitely, definitely Regigigas right now. That's, that's Regigigas. Well, what in time is that thing? It's colossal. That's Regigigas. Regigigas. <laughs> Regigigas. It sure seems to be a Pokemon, but let's see what my clairvoyance has to say. Yep, definitely a Pokemon. My clairvoyance showed me a vision of it in motion. Okay, it's being real slow. Save. For the millionth time. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's gonna move. What's it? What's it steal? Hello? Hi. Can I just. Can I just. Nope. Okay. Can, do I have to. Oh! Okay, so I can't run around it. Z z okay, we're in a fight. We're in a fight. Go Peaches! Okay, Regis is slow to get going. <laughs> oh, so it does like, it even, it has slow start basically. That's so funny. Wait, I don't want to use Thunder Wave yet. I want to use Thunderbolt first. Let's use it regular and see what happens. Okay, cool. Giga Impact. Oh, ow. All right, Agile South, Thunderbolt. Should get it down to low enough to be in the catching range, probably. And then Thunder Wave, Agile Style. Oh, and I think I'm gonna be able to throw a ball, even. Agile Style for the win. Agile Style is very useful. Cause like, look, I'm going three times in a row, you know? That's why I wanna figure out like, super fast Pokemon. Yeah, Raichu's pretty fast. There we go! Alright! I feel like they made the catch rates of these way too easy. But it, it's not fun just sitting there throwing Pokeballs. I guess. You know, that's, but not, I wonder, that's not a good gameplay design. Yeah, so. but like, could I have just thrown a Pokeball at it without even really fighting it? I mean, probably not as easily. I don't know. It felt like it was really easy. Like, all of them just went right into every Pokeball. I didn't even have to throw a second one for, like, any of them. So that's weird. I don't know. I guess this is just part of your job with the Survey Corps, huh? What kind of Pokemon is the one you just caught, Kayla? Hmm, I can't wait to see in the Pokedex when it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to read everything Mr. Professor writes up, too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on the Pokedex for sure. This is the first game that I really, really wanted to work on the Pokedex. Because so I'm doing right now. it's more than just, like just catch, catch everything and have everything it's like you actually get to do all of these things like battle and everything so it's it's really cool um nh nuisance says they could have turned the battle catching into a mini game like pokemon go um yeah i wish they i wish though for this they had them be more like bosses and they had like something that we had to like do like the heat ran one was actually pretty cool because we had to get these mud balls and throw them. I, I did this earlier on stream. Um, we had to get these mud balls and throw them at it. And it was actually kind of tough because like I actually died once because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, 
and I was like, I tried to throw a Pokemon at it, it wouldn't let me, and I was like, I don't know what to do, and then I had to like notice, oh, there's mud balls on the floor, I wonder if I throw mud at the fire, if it'll put it out. Um, so like those kind of tricks I think are really cool, and I wish that they did more, more of that. that kind of a thing with these last couple Pokemon where they don't tell you how to defeat it and you have to like figure it out. Because like that's one of my favorite things about Pokemon games is when they have those little puzzles that they don't really tell you all the way how to do it. Um, and then you just kind of have to solve it for yourself. So like, yeah, that would have been really cool. Like, I don't know, I feel like they could have done stuff for Regigigas. Where it was like, because Regigigas and the Regis in general usually have like riddles that you have to solve. So I kind of wish that they had like a riddle that we solved for Regigigas. Um, it was more just like you have to have the other plates to be able to get it. And I think it would have been cool if there was more to it, you know. Anyways, um, we are going to go here and we're going to head to go hang out with Kogita. Um, let's heal up just a little while. Um, and then I think I kind of need to buy more Pokeballs. <laughs> like, I don't usually buy these from here, but like, I kind of need to. Because I don't know what's about to happen, and I just, I need more stuff. Um,. Like, I really, really do. I've been crafting these, so I don't have to spend any money on it. But, like, I just, I just need, I just need stuff. I don't know, are you guys buying your Pokeballs more? Or crafting them more? Or doing a little bit of both? Like, what, what's you guys' method? I, I'd be really curious to hear, like, how people are handling the inventory of this game. I haven't bought any myself. You haven't bought any? I've only crafted. Wow. I have about 200 Pokeballs, two to 300 right now, of different types. You have like two, oh, of different types. See, like there's certain ones that I find more effective for certain things, and so I'm always like running out of those ones specifically. Oh, I'm another mouse outbreak. The... Oh, we gotta do this though. We gotta do this. It's a mouse, uh, a mass outbreak of this like rufflet, which will evolve into Sui and Braviary. I, that would be really cool to have a shiny of, so we're gonna do this real quick. I always check the mouse outbreaks. I get so many of them, because I feel like I'm always going back and forth. Um, oh, it's up here too. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. All right, we're gonna go fly over here. And we're gonna go take care of this mass outbreak thing and figure out how that's gonna be. Okay, cool which will mean climbing with Sneasler for sure, because we're going right back up to where we were, basically. But this time, this time, we're looking for potentially a shiny, which would be really cool. Oh, wow, look how beautiful those stars are. It's a clear night. This is like the first clear night I've seen on this map, that there's literally like no clouds. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Like, wow. Like, wow. Wait, I need to do this so I can crouch. And I need to switch. Let's start with... Oh, everything's out of order. Everything's out of order. No. No, fix it. There we go. Oh, they see me, though. Hi, what's up? You see me? Is this the outbreak, or is this just a rufflet? Because I know rufflets spawn here, too. Uh, I don't want to kill it. Will this kill it? Yep. Okay, well, some of them are going to get destroyed, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think that was part of the outbreak. What would be not good against it? Pure white would be not good, not good against it, but pure white might not. Oh, wait. Gel. Tiny would be perfect for this. Because... Tiny has a grass type attack, but is not a grass type Pokemon. Okay, will it catch? I don't even think this is part of the outbreak. I think this is just like, because the outbreak is over here. Whoa, look at all of them. We're probably going to need to use some wing balls. Oh, unless they just fight me right away. They have a pretty long uh, aggro range. Like, I would definitely not leave the grass. I think it's the oh, nope, Ronzong, out! 
Oh, oh it's, it's gonna, gonna be a, a fight. fight. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. That's fine. We got this. We got this. Mystical Fire will take out Bronzong. Fortunately, Sylveon has extremely good type coverage. Oh, it didn't take it out. Maybe I'll catch it. Rufflet has Roost. Cool. Alright. Let's see if we can catch this Bronzong. That would be cool. Uh, use this. Alright. And then let's see if we can catch the Rufflet too. Because that would be cool. Oh, is it already changing to daytime? Oh, I wanted to look at the night sky more. It was so pretty. Oh, Bronzong's mad. Well, then maybe I'll just take out Bronzong. Bronzong needs Hex. Yeah, because Bronzong is mad. Let's just do that. And let's see if we can catch Rufflet. So I'd like to catch a bunch of these. I feel like I'm always fainting Rufflets because they just attack you. I feel like the more aggressive ones, I tend to faint more often rather than catch them. Um, and I need to catch more of them, so. Oh, that didn't even do that much at all. Oh, and it's got Roost? Okay, so let's try something else. Let's see, what happens if we use Mystical Fire on it? It should survive this, I think. Yeah, perfect, okay. And now it's gonna use, oh, oh now my faint from, no. no, it didn't, perfect. Okay, items. Um, let's try a Great Ball, I think would be fine, probably. I probably maybe could have used a Pokeball. Let's see. Cool, all right, we caught a Rufflet. How many have I caught of those? Oh, I guess I've caught six of those. I've caught more than I thought. Oof, my character is hurt. Um, let's see. They're kind of far away from here, so let's use this and see if we can hit some. Nope, nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. It worked, okay. Okay, caught another one. Caught another one. Yeah, I like this feather ball method for uh, these type of Pokemon that are really aggressive. Cause like, then you don't have to get close enough that they can potentially go after you. You know? Oh, although that one seems like it was kind of mad for a second there. Um, you're getting awfully close, buddy. They keep having the, the little dots above their heads and I'm like, are they about to go throw down or what? Oh, that one sees me. Um, okay, we're gonna have to do a little fight over here. Hopefully the other Rufflets don't see, and I can still catch them with the wing balls because it's so much easier. Okay, cool. And Brave Bird, oh, that's gonna hurt it. That's gonna hurt it too, right? It has recoil. recoil. Okay, but it's not dead. Um, I think I can just use a Pokeball on this. I think so. Alright, will there be a shiny Rufflet? I still haven't found any shinies in these, like, horde things. That's why I don't do them. Almost, uh, it's something like rare. Alright, let's see if we can get these. Is that all of them? They're gone! Okay! Well, now that we've done this... <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Man, I wish that I would find shinies there. Because I've done a lot of them, and I feel like I've found shinies in other ways rather than from that, you know? Like, I've managed to get some shinies, but never never from this. All right, craft some of these. Cool. Craft some potions. I wonder what happens next, because... I have all the plates, so like, is Arceus gonna come down? Like, oops, I'm messing up. I'm just like, it could be, it could be Arceus, right? Like, cause the hero collected all the plates, and then, then what? What happened next? We don't know. All right, so let's go to the Laventon. Yep, I caught a bunch of Rufflet. Yay. 
cool. Yep. Cool observations. Tiny bit on my Pokedex. <laughs> the cadaver though. Uh, return to the village. And then we're gonna go to talk to Kogita. Wow. I, I want to know, I want to know how this ends, guys. I feel like we're really, really close. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, too, with this. So, I'm like, I never know. Because I feel like the story, like, you at least had an idea of, like, what was coming next. But with this, like, not so much. I don't care about those mass outbreaks. See, I get so many mass outbreaks. Do you guys get multiple ones, like, everywhere all the time? Because I do. They're just always around. It's very rare that I don't have a mass outbreak going on. Okay, so let's report to Kogita. What she's gonna say. <laughs> let's see. The cadaver though, right? Uh, she looks kind of concerned. I did collect all the plates, yep. And now you must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood? That's weird. He's out of wood? Well, I have plenty of wood, so... I guess I just have to go grab a couple pieces of wood? <laughs> That's so random, right? Like... He just wants... just wants some... just wants some wood? Uh, move to Satchel. She wants three pieces of wood. Okay. Here, here you go. This is so random. Why do you want three pieces of wood? Yeah. Yeah, here you go. What else? What's she gonna make? Now the moment comes at last, the big reveal. What pray tell is the secret behind this wood? Secret. Your expectation is tempering, I fear. The wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards! What? We are after our dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. How you complain for one sh shirking his own work this very moment. Poor Gin Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, Kayla. Reward for the wood you brought me. The pixie plate? She had a plate the whole time? That's what the plates you were looking for! <laughs> that indeed was the plates that we've been searching for. What do you mean a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm, this does look rather like one of the plates you've been tracking down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Less than accommodating. As a cutting board! She's been using it as a cutting board? Boards power the plates power rather. Oh my gosh, she's been using it as a cutting board. Oh my goodness. One of them needs saying, what do you two intend to do now? Uh, collect all the plates. So I don't know what we're to do with them exactly. We should have a look around the Celestica ruins. Okay. Those ruins contain statues of both Dialga and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. Okay. <laughs> Are they fighting? Are they fighting right now? Is that what's going on? Are they in a fight? Alright, I wonder what we're gonna learn from this. Hey, Kogita. More and more human voices echo throughout his way with the growth of your galaxy team. Interesting that you hear all the human voices. Um, okay. Alright, uh, but I think we're good. We've got everything we need. So I guess we go to the next next place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going back to Jubilee. Oh, that's interesting, because now this isn't our base of operations, so we can't just go wherever. Like we have to um we have to kind of like I don't know. That's cool. Do I have two I hope I don't have too many Pokemon in my thing, but I think I'm fine. Okay. Next is here. Let's go. And we're gonna investigate the ruins while also having all the plates. Let's see, they want us to go up to here. So if we wanna go up to here, we can just go here. And then over here. Okay, 
Let's do what we always do. Save. <laughs> I wonder... I, I don't know what's gonna happen next. I don't know if, like, is Volo gonna battle me? I feel like Volo's gonna battle me at some... <gasps> There's a Rotom. I've caught a Rotom before, but, like, it's a Rotom. They're pretty common here. They have, like, certain spawn points. It seems like every time you load the map, they go to one of them. Oh, it's... I've got two of them so far. Okay. This is my third. But... Oh, it's in catch. Oh, it's mad. It's mad. It's mad. Hi, Rotom. Uh, let's see. Ah! It's coming at me! It's coming at me! Um, what do I want to use? Oh, I guess this will probably make the most sense. But is there a second Pokemon that's fighting me right now? Yup! Okay, but they're both electric types, so this is fine. Um, let's actually, uh, fight the other one first, so that we can just take it out. Because I don't want, really want to catch Alexio right now. But I do, I would like to catch this Rotom. I would very much like to catch Rotom. I have some Rotom, but I want more Rotom. And I don't want to faint it, so I'm just going to use Thunder Punch, which will be not very effective. Yeah, see, if I used anything else, I think it would have fainted it, so. All right, let's see. Items. Um, let's use, we can use a Pokeball, I think. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> we might need to use a Great Ball, though. Let's see. Will it catch? Ooh, it might not catch. Oh, it did! Okay, cool. All right. Volo's just hanging out there. That's why I'm like, I think he's gonna wanna fight me. I'm just getting that vibe, you know? Maybe... I don't know what's about to happen. I wish I knew. You wanna know? No, don't tell then me. Then you don't wish you knew. I kinda wish I knew, but I also don't. Oh! Okay. This statue is destroyed. Here, far from the statues of Diago and Palkia, broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I think so. What do you think it is? Of course you would. You're the greater wielder of Pokemon this land knows, the one who could bring low even Diago and Palkia. The crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon, one that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is Giratina. It has six legs. Yep. It was banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to ba bear its fangs and defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Um, um, Volo? Volo, don't tell me you're trying to get Giratina to come here. Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus. Where do you think it might appear? Uh, the Temple of Sinnoh, right? Up at the top? Where one is closer to the heavens than any other place in his way, and where the space-time rift first opened. Are you trying to summon Giratina? Uh, is Volo actually the villain? Was I right? We're getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And that tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything where the mysteries to be found in legends and history and ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be, and with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. <gasps> no! He's going full Cyrus! Wait, maybe he is the villain! Oh, no! Now we can find the realm that exists in the reverse side of our... No! 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 Volo, don't do it! That's why I said it's funny. <laughs> no! I was like, oh. Because we both predicted this. We both were like, beginning. he's a bad guy. He's definitely going to be a bad guy. And he was a good guy. But now we know he's a bad guy. Oh, I was right. I was right. Yep. Oh, no. Volo, this is bad. Wait, we got to stop him. Why is my character still okay with this? Because uh, your character doesn't get it yet. You're 15. You're 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No. It's like that meme of Michael Scott where he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, that's literally how I feel right now. Polo, 
I was like, I was suspicious of you, and then I was like, nah, we good, and now I'm like, nope, we're not good again. We're very much not good. The least good, the least good so ever. So now knowing what you know, do you still think he's uh, the ancestor of that person? I still think he might be. Um, actually, that would actually still make a lot of sense. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. Oh no, Volo, Volo, why? Can I get up? No, I have to climb to the very, very top. Okay. All right, let's get to flying and climbing and all that. Why do I have stuff marked like that? All right, climbing. Thank goodness for Sneezler. Wait, oh, we can't climb like that. Wait. Okay, we need to go this way. Do, 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 do. Hey, Electivire, you're really scary. Okay, we gotta go in here. I wonder if this person is gonna comment on the fact that Volo just ran. Volo! This is a stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass, but really... Oh, okay. He says the same thing he was saying before, which is weird. Okay, let's climb through here. Grab some chunks of iron as we go, because why not? Uh, nobody to ambush me in here this time. Okay. I still need to figure out what these markings mean. Because they have to be letters. We know that, but we don't know what they exactly say. Okay. If I go through this, is something crazy going to happen? Probably. Okay, save. Okay. Um. Should I... What should I do? I don't know. I don't know what I'm about to fight. Um. You want to know? No, don't tell me. <laughs> Let's... Let's start with... I don't even know. Um, Golly has good type coverage. Maybe Golly's a good one to start with. I don't think they'll start with like a water or ice type, probably. So I think... Don't tell me. I'm not telling you anything. My boyfriend's just here I'm looking just at me, and he's watching me, because he's already done this, so he like... I'm just enjoying. He knows what's going to happen. And I'm all just like... Ooh, look at how pretty this looks in the daytime, though. Like, this is so pretty. Are things more destroyed than they were before? Yeah, they are. That makes sense, though, because we had that crazy epic battle here. Volo. Volo. I knew it. I knew he was not a good guy. I called it. For a second, he had me fooled. And then I was like, no. No. He definitely is the villain. Look at the smile! That's like the same- this is like the same shot that we had of Cyrus. This- the temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken, like pillars now turned into spears. Oh, that's why we get spear pillar! Stabbing into the heavens. Well, I detect a distant lack of gear- distinct lack of Giratina. Hmm, something bothering you? Yes! I do beg your pardon, I suppose. I must seem to be behaving strangely. I feel like you've always been behaving strangely. I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. I already know. Ugh. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there's been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was in an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Giratina and had it tear open. <gasps> Whoa! Volo made the rift? So Volo is the reason that I am out of time. Like, out of space and time. Why I'm in this place at all. Yep. Volo. Volo. My heart. Wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing deities, just as the murals of the ruins directed. Eighteen plates said to be the fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hand seventeen of them, so you must be wondering where's the last one. You have it. Why, it's right here. Look at Bolo's evil smile right now. Oh my god. Oh, it's about to get better. Wardrobe change. Wardrobe change. 
Whoa! <laughs> Why does he have Arceus hair? Now hand over the place you gathered, and I will be the one to gather them, bring them all together. Oh, he has Cynthia's like necklacey thing going on too. My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. I must know what it is. Oh, he looks so scary right now. If I can meet Arceus myself, then I must also be able to subjugate his power, and using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. No, you're doing the Cyrus thing. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this Hisui region we currently exist in will be undone and return to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon living here will vanish in an instant as if you'd never been. Wow, Volo. Volo. If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Not that you have a choice. Even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. Volo. Pokemon wielder Volo challenged you to battle. And he throws out Spirit. Oh, okay, okay, that's his first. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay, what do you got, what do you got, what do you got? Okay, what are you gonna do? All right, everything is just normally effective. Um, let's use Bulldoze Agile style so that we can use more often, hopefully later, and see how much it does. Okay, and it's only level 68. I should be okay. Oh, hypnosis? Oh, I avoided it. Okay. Well, we've got spear tune for sure. Let's use strong style to make sure it hits. Um, and then we should be good. Okay. That's gonna take out spear tune. Okay, what's he gonna send up next? Volo, you traitor. You traitor. Oh, I hope. So I'm supposed to be filming a podcast tonight and I hope that everybody has completed the post game on the podcast because it's going to be really hard not to talk about this if they haven't. Oh my gosh. Okay, backfire. Your turn. Let's go. All right. Uh, we're going to fight. We're going to use... Oh, we're going to go twice. So let's use Agile style because then we can potentially go even three times. This could be really good. Okay, perfect. So raise, Roserade goes down. What else do you have? What else do you have, Volo? Volo, you traitor. Arcanine, okay. Well, good thing we went real fast because I think we're gonna need a lot of hits to be able to do this. Um, Shadow Ball, oh, we're not gonna be able to go fast enough to be able to hit multiple times. We gotta do Strong Style then because um, I think he's just gonna kill me. Oh, man. Oh no, he has a full restore? Oh, okay. Oh, and rock slide, because I went the slower option. Oh no, okay, but that maybe will be his only full restore. If I go agile, I can hit twice. Okay, cool, that's what I gotta do. Um, and I gotta hope that this will do enough. Okay, that was agile, so then if I do this strong style, That'll take it out. But then he's gonna hit me with something. What's he gonna hit me with after this? Okay, Arcanine goes down. All right, he's got three left. Lucario, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I got this, I got this. Oh, I don't got this, I don't got this. Oh no, okay. Oh, Lucario, Lucario. How am I gonna take out Lucario? Oh, okay. Okay, we've got some options. Uh, I think pirouette is the way to go for this. I think pirouette will be fast enough. Um, and we just hope that it is enough. All right, if I use this agile, perfect. So I can do this to make sure I go really, really fast and stuff and hit really, really hard because I need to take out Lucario. I know Lucario, Lucario is scary like really scary and I don't want to have to deal with it. All right, so we're just gonna use Drain Punch and we're gonna use Strong Style and we're gonna take out Lucario right away because I I know Lucario, like you don't want to mess with Lucario. You need to just take it out. Um, but what else is he gonna have? Like he still has two more Pokemon and I only have like, oh shit. Oh, sorry, I swear. <laughs> like, oh no. Oh, this is very bad. This is very bad. Yeah, his Togekiss wrecked me. How am I gonna... Okay, I'm gonna have to hope my Raichu can take out Togekiss. Um, but I'm starting to run out of Pokemon. 
And then, oh man. And his last one's gonna kill you. His last one's gonna kill me? Yeah. Oh no. Okay, well, both of these are gonna be super effective. That's 100 power, 75 accuracy. I think I wanna do this strong style. Oh, I get to go twice, even if I use strong style, because Raichu's, Peaches is really fast. So hopefully. Mm. Okay, cool. Yeah, my, my Peaches is like buff. Peaches is ready to go, but. Oh no! Yeah, I, I knew it was gonna be Garchomp yeah, too! You're dead. Oh no! Okay, um. We just gotta the do- The fact that you're so fast is the only reason you didn't just get wrecked right there. I know. Giga impact. Let's see how much this does. If I can do it just enough that my next- Because I have my Sylveon. Yes, okay, I think this is gonna be enough that my Sylveon will be able to take it out, hopefully. The Peaches is gonna go down. Okay, it's up to Tiny, guys. It's up to Tiny. Can Tiny do it? I think Tiny can do this. Right? What do you guys think? Shout out in the chats for Tiny. Yeah, Tiny's got this. Tiny's got this. Like Tiny's super got this. Okay, go Tiny! And is oh. Sylvia and Fairy type? Yes. Then you're probably okay for the next fight as well. Oh really? There's another fight? <laughs> 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 yeah, Bolo. You can't do this, dude. This is real bad. Oh my gosh, he looks like he's acting like Cyrus right now. Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessings of Arceus? Cause I'm trying to do things that aren't crazy. Like, dude, why, how? I've devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshiped it as the creator of our entire world. I bent all my passion and interest to its study. All the time I've spent pouring over the legend, everything that I've done. You outsider, it's almost as if you were spat out of the space time rift just to get in my way. Oh, that creepy smile. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, that, it's gonna be Giratina. Are we gonna have to fight Giratina? Are we gonna have to fight Giratina right now? Guys, guys, oh no. Oh, this is so scary. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Volo, you Anakin Skywalker! Horrible! Oh no! Volo, Giratina will not listen to you, I don't think. Um, um, wait, is Giratina Volo's right now? Or is Volo just standing there? Can I catch it? Am I able to catch it? I don't know if I'm able to catch it. Do you oh, want to it's gonna hit. Yes. Can I catch it? No, you can't. I can't catch it. Okay, so I just gotta defeat it. Okay, in that case, we're just gonna go all out, just try to defeat it. Okay. I think I think we might have this. Maybe. Okay, tiny sit lives. Okay. Come on. Come on, please, 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 please. I don't think it's gonna be enough to take it out, though. Nope, it's still around. And that means it's gonna come down to my last Pokemon. Or, other idea, which is a better idea. All right, Jelly, your sacrifice will not be in vain. <laughs> Max Revive, Tiny, I need Tiny. <laughs> Tiny is like the hero right now. Oh, or Jelly might just take it out. But regardless, I think I need Tiny as a backup just in case. Okay, yeah, Jelly will take it out. Jelly has got this. Yay, Jelly! Okay. Why no catch? Because you can't, right? You can't, and you're not done. What? This is the part that messed me up. What, what, what? Origin form Giratina? Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Go tiny. Wait. So can I still not catch it? Correct. I still can't catch it? Correct. Oh, that's a bad choice. You're dead. Why? You're not going to one-shot and it's going to hit you twice in a row. 
If I survive, I avoided it. Oh, you're lucky as fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I think you got it. Go tiny, go tiny, go tiny, go tiny. Guys, cheer on tiny in the chat. Can this be caught now? I don't think so. You can go try to do it. It should say you can't catch this um, when you go to hit use. There's no chance but to win this battle. Okay. Yeah, you gotta fight it. Okay. I think I have just enough Dazzling Gleams, too, to take this out. Wow. Oh my god. That avoidance was so lucky. Yes. That avoidance oh my was gosh. so lucky. Oh, tiny. The hero, Tiny. Oh, can I catch it now? I finally beat Garatina. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is it gone? I'm gonna have to find another way to catch it at some point. Turning tail and running from this puny human? Pathetic. You're a puny human. Volo! Oh, I'm so mad at him. I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus. I was the one who gave you the chance to claw. You are so self-important, Volo. You're so self-important. It's not about you. This is not about, oh, sorry. I like hit the table. Yeah, oh my gosh. Volo, are you serious? Are you serious, Volo? How is Almighty Arceus, if you have any heart within you, then tell me. The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it then that you find so lacking in me? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't need to be remade. It really doesn't. I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not sa satisfying this ache to know. Answer me then, Kayla. Do you have some dream that repels you as I've had? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. So you do. Doubtless that dream of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like me. I am the great wielder of Pokemon, and you, you battle alongside your Pokemon. In the end, I was alone, but not you. Yeah, Tiny, Tiny saved me. You'll, you will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path, the plate I once received from Giratina. So Giratina influenced him. So it's not entirely Volo's fault, you know? Like, Giratina definitely, like, my journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. The spooky plate. Oh, wow. The ghost type plate. Now I have all the plates. But man, getting here was crazy. I suppose now you've gathered all the plates said to exist in this land of Hisui. Oh. 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 Of course. Oh. The Zor flute. Yeah. Which is to meet you of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? God, I have no desire to watch on the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. And I absolutely cannot accept a world in which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. S someday I will solve every riddle in the legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And on that day, I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it. No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. Oh, Volo, you've got issues, man. Putting it very mildly. Oh, man. Is Arceus just going to appear now? Do I have to... Okay. You might want to go around. I'm uh, going to go heal. Oh, seek out all the Pokemon there are to meet. Oh. You have to finish the basic Pokedex. I have to finish the Pokedex. I have to finish the Pokedex. Okay, so I haven't finished the Pokedex. So that's, that's as far as I can go right now. Because um, I, I haven't finished the Pokedex. But yeah, so um, sort your life out, mate, right? Yeah, Volo's got things to figure out. Um, wow, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna send out the Pokemon that saved us in the end here, Tiny. You, you, are, you are the true hero, Tiny. You did so much work. Yeah, and that, that Tiny avoiding that attack. Oh yeah, my goodness, that was crazy. I also want to thank everybody who has um, been like with us from the beginning and has been following the whole stream. Um, all the all the um, streams are going to be saved on my channel in the playlist for Pokemon Legends Arceus. So if you guys want to watch from the beginning, you can. Um, also, I'd like to thank everybody who voted for Tiny to evolve into Sylveon. 
um, on both uh, Twitter and on YouTube because, oh my gosh, Tiny came in clutch and like, I would not have, t like Tiny might not even be a Sylveon if it wasn't for you guys. So like, thank you all so, so much. Um, and yeah, my brain is just, I, I'm recording a podcast tonight uh, with um, Jodo Johnny and Dusty Gogo and Veteran X Gaming. And so I'm hoping that they'll all have beat the post game so that I can talk about this because, oh my gosh, like Bolo, I, I still, I knew, like I figured he would be the villain because like he was, he was doing like the knowledge is power thing and I was hoping that he would use that power for good, but he clearly used it for evil. And he, I, it makes me wonder because he, the things he says are like the same things Cyrus says. And so I wonder if Cyrus was also just influenced by Giratina because it seems like Giratina is what caused them to be the way that they are. So I don't know, like that's so crazy. He went like full Anakin Skywalker. Um, I'm just like, I'm gonna have to make, I have so many videos that I wanna make about this game. Like there's so much lore here. There are so many things that are hinting about things that happen later on. I just, my, oh, look at this thing. was a really good game you guys. If anybody is like questioning whether or not they wanna get this game, you need to get this game. It's definitely the best Pokemon game there's ever been. Yes, it's the best Pokemon game. Period. Hands down. Like, actually um, the best. Yeah, like... It's, this is coming from somebody that doesn't like Pokemon, and it's very good. I love Pokemon, and it's fantastic. So whether you're a Pokemon fan or not, like, you need to get this game and play it. It's so good. Um, oh my gosh, my brain. Okay, I need to um, just eat some lunch and... <laughs> think and feel my feelings um but i hope you guys enjoyed the stream if you did make sure you leave a like on it make sure you subscribe because i'm gonna make a ton of videos about this game um what about yellow i love yellow yellow pokemon like, yellow pokemon yellow of course oh i loved yellow um but this is this is better than yellow for sure um but yeah if you guys if you guys like the stream make sure you leave a like and yeah have a great day uh, and stay away from Giratina because he's a, he's a bad Pokemon. Real bad, real bad. All right, bye everybody.